Now we're going to string our rod. What's that exactly does it mean? Well, we've got our reel attached to our rod, and I have it in my hand, a monofilament line, which you probably are not going to be able to see. But anyway, I have also reassembled my pole. So I'm going to step back here a little ways so you can see how I'm going to do this. Take the line in your hand, get a you know pretty good amount of it out first, and then what you're going to want to do is take this line, go underneath the metal spool there, and then press it. It's going to be ready to go. Go ahead and flip the bale forward. That will free up the string. And you'll be good to go. Take this. Really quite fun, actually. It's even funner when you get a long pull. And you're just stringing it piece to piece. Piece to piece. And piece to piece. Now, we're at the end. So we're going to pull it through. It's a new line, so it's really quite twisted up. It's cheap lines, not personally what I prefer to put on. But hey, you know, the girl didn't want it anymore. She gave it to me. Hey, what can I say? I will definitely use it. But before I can use it, I'm going to have to stretch it a little bit because, like I said, it's way too oily. So for that, you just kind of have to put a little bit of weight, pressure on Get turned around here. On this hand, wrap the thumb around the line, take the rod tip, gently kind of bend it back. You don't want to break the rod, you don't want to break the line. You definitely don't want the line to cut through your thumb. It's winter, so it's quite cold and that would really hurt. Alright. That should get a little bit better response. Anyway. Now. Again, assuming that you're going catfish, okay, not a good idea, don't start that habit. If you're going to bite through, you know, line, make sure it's not really heavy and don't mash down real hard with your teeth, you'll crack your teeth, and uh, I promise you won't like the result. What I've done is I've picked up a package here that's pre-done, uh, basically it's a I have a swivel on one end, a weight, and I'm going to take this out and I'm going to show you how it works. And I'm not endorsing anybody here, I'm just happen to be going fishing. Anyway, I'll pop this dude up. Finally beginning to wonder if I was ever going to get the package up. <laughs> it's got a couple wire ties on it, little twists. The bottom one you can actually pull straight off. You don't want to do that with the top one just yet. This package contains two of these dudes. They're rather long. Anyway, the top one we are going to physically have to unwind this dude, little wire tie. Anyway, let one fall to the ground. Now, this is what we're looking at, okay? Give you a nice little close-up. That is a sinker. One ounce. Behind it is a marble, roller, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, it keeps this bit spinning, okay? Now, this cable is crimped right here. Right here underneath my thumb, there's a crimp. See it? Now, this section of cable is different from this section of cable right here. And the end of this is this dude right here. Nice little barrel swivel. See? Line goes on this side, line goes on this side. Now, to tie it on, very important. Okay, I'm going to see if I can adjust the camera just a bit. Okay. Monofilament line and that. I'll run it through just like so. We're going to pull it back just like so. Now, there are thousands of ways to do this. This is simply my interpretation of this. I'm going to do a quick little snag on that like so. And I'm going to take the line. Pull it tight. Come back around. 
back down, re-securing it again. It's putting one knot on. Now, we're going to need a few knots because, like I said, we're going catfishing. So we come back through the eye and see how it makes this nice little loop. Simply get this up and over one time, twist it back over a second time. Now, clinch knife. Take the two sections of line back, pull them together. Now, take the top piece, go right around. Secure it down. Torque it down. Take your thumb. Press it down. And give it a good firm pop. Okay. Now we're attached. Now, you can leave this little bit on here. It's a nice little fray. Or use the old trusty mouth and take care of that. Now, I'm not going to attach a hook on here just yet because I'm going to show you a basic on how to cast. Now, angle is still down on the camera. I'm fixing to walk out. That's the reason. Anyway, let me uh, put on a casting cap. Y'all stick around and watch this. I'm going to cast this. Like I said, we're going to cast it. Let's assume we have already got our bait on here. We're going to hold it. We've almost got a perfect little bend for that. Go ahead and pop that bell free. Grab it with this finger. In this case, we're going to let this swing. We're on a boat. Now, I know you probably can't see it, but on the back side of that shrub line is where it went. Probably about maybe 120 feet. Real simple, easy cast. We're going to close the bell. We're going to begin the reel. Now, I've already got the drag turned down on this because, again, it's just practice. There ain't nothing really to worry with on it. We're just going to kind of frog it along in the grass, you know, kind of bounce and catch. You'll kind of get an idea about how your rod is actually going to handle it. Notice how this thing is bouncing on the tip. I'm not sure if you can see that. We'll come up here. Now, let's see if I can figure out how to make this work for you guys. Now, let's see. Tip of the rod. Now, if you were getting a bite, for example, it's going to want to bounce down. So, just kind of watch that as I try to figure out how to reel it in for you guys. I'm going to mess with the camera for a bit. Kind of give you the impression. See that snag? Oh, just like you got a fish on there. Oh, just like you got a fish. See? Now when you get hung in the grass, you just kind of pop it up a little bit. Pop it up a little bit. And this is kind of good practice too because it helps you to learn how to feel what's on the bottom. And that's really all it's about. 